Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Belugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Friday, April 5th and the first Friday of the month saw America released labor market data. It turned out that NFP or non-farm payrolls surprised to the upside. The reading came out at 196,000 versus the forecast of 177,000. American unemployment rate remained at 49-year low, and average annual wage gains slowed down to 3.2%, and uh, it means that uh, the labor market figures are solid enough to support the economic growth in the United States. On the other hand, wage inflation isn't rising. It means that the Federal Reserve will be able to continue its loose monetary policy and thus all of this creates quite a positive picture for S&P 500 um, in, into the upcoming months. So uh, analysts have even started talking about levels around 3000 for the index. Uh, we know that the previous high the record high was just below 2950, so below that level, and surely that means the forecasts are really, really bullish here. Another positive uh, news um, include positive statements from Chinese and American officials about progress in trade talks, and President Donald Trump even called uh, the deal monumental, so you can imagine. The market is positive about that. And uh, Theresa May asked uh, the European Union to extend Brexit deal, uh, the deadline, um, until June 30th. The European Union summit will take place next week. And earlier, the European Union rejected this uh, date because they wanted the deadline extension for a longer period of time but i guess that uh, they can just wait until that deadline and then extend um, brexit deadline once again that is not really a problem here so uh, that um, uncertainty related to brexit does not hurt u.s stocks because well no deal brexit for now is out of the question if we look at particular stocks, we will see that Tesla, which uh, formed a bearish gap this week after the news that the company delivered less cars than expected in the first quarter, um, is being closed um, slowly but surely. So um, the market sees some positive uh, things ahead of the ahead for the stock. Facebook uh, is trading at interesting technical levels. We can see that uh, so far the attempt to break above resistance line of this year was unsuccessful and it looks like we have uh, the reversal to the downside from this resistance line which um, allows us to expect return to 171 and potentially lower. Apple stock uh, was trading on the upside during the recent days. It managed to return above 200 day moving average, but it came close to the high of March around 198 and this will be a resistance. Have a look at the stock of Dow Inc. The company uh, has recently spun off from DuPont and is now independent. Um, there was a big surge in prices during the recent days, but now we witness a correction as uh, GP Morgan made a bearish forecast and said that the price should be around $49. You can see that we are uh, much higher now. Um, in the short term, the correction to the downside is very likely, although in the medium term, analysts see a lot of positive uh, potential for the stock. And if we speak about analyst forecasts, then Viacom was um, upgraded by RBC, RBC Capital Markets. Uh, and you can see that the stock is currently trying to 
go through an important resistance of 200 day moving average in the area of 2980 so some interesting dynamics may be here and uh, what else do we have here we have Boeing uh, the company met resistance uh, in the area of 398 50-day uh, moving average although um, the stock has been recovering this is a resistance taking into account the fact that the recent investigation of Ethiopian Airlines found out that the pilots of the plane which crashed in March were doing everything according to procedures so Boeing is to blame for the crash um, and taking into account the fact that the level of 400 is kind of psychological uh, more downside is possible for the stock in the upcoming sessions so uh, this was it for today thank you for your attention and see you next week